Good morning. I wanted to share some of my deep thoughts with you on the subject of Tai Chi and standing meditation. So, um, Yi Chuan standing meditation requires stillness. You're, you're, uh, if you're moving, it's, it's subtle shifts to stretch the tendons internally while on the to the outside view it looks like you're not moving at all but there's a lot going on inside so um how does i was thinking about the relationship between each man and tai chi and there's a classic saying in tai chi even the weight of a small bird could cause the whole position to shift so um tai chi masters theoretically as they move, this is one version of waving into the cloud. Imagine uh, a small bird, like a sparrow, on the, on the surface of their hand. And they're moving so slowly and gently that even as the bird tries to spring and flap its wings and take a little spring to fly, so the Tai Chi master can feel that shift of the tiny bird and drop their hand enough so that the bird can't get a, a lift off. So, you know, thinking of that level of sensitivity, and that, that's something that, for some reason, standing gives you that. Standing does give you that. So when you're engaged in push hand play with a partner, you can feel just stuff incoming, outgoing, you can feel their, their weight shift through, through the wrist, through the palm, through, you can feel it much more, you have much more feeling. And that leads me to one more <laughs> critical issue when it's a conversation I have frequently with one of my colleagues slash students, Sheldon. So <laughs> Sheldon or um, son of Shaolin, we're constantly arguing about, he, he's, he's uh, sort of mentally anguished by the fact that Kung Fu and Shaolin Kung Fu has been uh, belittled and Tai Chi. Even, even within China by the mixed martial artists that challenged the Tai Chi master, several of them, I guess, and then just knocked him out in the ring. Um, that though the, 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 the Chinese external and internal martial arts aren't as effective as mixed martial arts or jujitsu in particular, or Taekwondo or karate or the other ones. Uh, that are popular. And I have just one answer for that. That Kung Fu is the art of killing, not the art of fighting. And this leads me to answer one other question, why I don't teach much online. Because there's traditionally, um, Sifus would vet their students to make sure they weren't malicious. Mostly because they didn't want to get killed themselves. Because when they caught a younger student, that and you know told them you know all the the intricacies of, of the art of kung fu, they could then turn on their sifu and take him out. Uh, you know if they're a bad person. So I mean, I mean there were a lot of uh, survival reasons that this was done um, historically. And uh, Wu Ning was in that vein of thought. He didn't teach uh, much detail to his students, and he was also taught by people who did not, you know, they, they only taught a trusted few. So because of what I've learned, I, I don't, um, you know, I don't feel comfortable showing all that stuff, unless it's in person to someone I know is not uh, a flip case and going to lose their temper and hurt hurt someone. 
I mean, uh, the, uh, the moves in Kung Fu are, are incredibly illegal. They're hitting vital strike points, they're killing people, and you can't do that. Even in mixed martial arts, it's not allowed. Mixed martial arts is sort of a, a you know, like a Roman Colosseum sort of thing of people getting um, a vicarious thrill of seeing other people pummel uh, their, their opponents and draw blood, and it's kind of grotesque. So you can see what gets unleashed in when it's allowed, when it's permitted. And even then still, even in those gory battles, certain movements are not allowed. They're simply uh, uh, illegal, even in mixed martial arts, because then they would just kill each other, and they, they definitely know how to do that. So anyway, that's my thought uh, and explanation on why I teach the way I do publicly and um, keep not questioning, let's just call it that. Okay.